All right, so let's first start off by getting the stuff in the absolute value sign by itself. So we can add 5 to the 12th, and then that will give us the absolute value of 5 minus 4x is less than 17. Right, now we can get rid of the absolute value signs by putting negative 17 is less than 5 minus 4x is less than 17 down instead. And that way we have both the positive and negative option. And notice that we dropped the absolute value sign because of that. All right, so now we can subtract 5 from all sides. We get negative 22 is less than negative 4x is less than 12. So what comes next is we have to get x by itself. So we can divide all sides of the inequality by negative 4. To do that, since the 4 is negative, we have to flip all the signs. So we have negative 22 is greater than negative 4x is greater than 12, all divided by negative 4. All right, and that gives us 22 over 4 is greater than x is greater than negative 3. So let's do a little bit of simplifying and rearranging here. I'm just going to flip the equation to make it so that the smallest number is on the left side. So that will read negative 3 is less than x is less than, and then I'm going to reduce that 22 over 4 to 11 halves. All right, so now graphing this. We want to plot negative 3 and 11 halves. And we know that the bubbles will be hollow since there's no equal to bar underneath the sign. And since x is in between those values, we will shade the area in between negative 3 and 11 halves. Okay, and then for interval notation, we know that we're using two parentheses because of the hollow bubbles and there's no equal bar underneath the sign, so we're going to use parentheses rather than brackets. So we will have open parenthesis, negative 3, comma, 11 halves, and then close with another parenthesis. And that is our solution.